So today on the farm, we are fixing a little problem we have with water. I've been using this one for years now. This is a solar pump, a three inches electric motor powered solar pump. It uses about 48 volts, 3000 watts, DC, DC motor, can you see it, show them. So I got this machine back then, this pumping machine, it was around 350,000 back then. But I know the price must have gone up now. So we don't have a battery bank for it. We are using energy source directly from the solar panels. So anytime we need water, we can pump water from 8 a.m. in the morning to 4 p.m. Anything after that, we'll not be able to pump water again. And I don't want to invest on power banks. So now, I'm spending only 220000 to get this. A gasoline pump. They are of the same rating, the same pump casing. But you know that you cannot compare a gasoline-powered engine to an electric motor. This one is stronger than this solar pump. But this solar pump is way more reliable. It is, um, there's no need for maintenance. But this one, it is because of the maintenance, getting of fuel every time, changing of oil, doing a lot of things. That is why I don't like it. But we are going to be using it only at night when there is no sun. Instead of getting more storage, I wouldn't want to invest in storage because we only have one overhead tank that we are pumping water to. And most of the time, we need the water as it is coming out from the, from the well. We need it to put into the bowls where we are storing fish. We need to use it to wash fish. We need to use it to wash the ground, wash the bowls, clean our environment. So now, what the plumber is doing is we are trying to fit these two together so that we can use this one during the day. We can use this one at night. That is why these control knobs are here. We'll be able to shut this one off when this one is working. And we'll be able to shut this one off when this is working. So I don't want these videos to discourage you if you're planning to get a solar pump. This thing is working perfectly. But on this farm, we need water in the morning. Even at night, we need water. That is why I am installing this. This one cost about 350000 I think, over two years ago. But this one, now, we just got this one. This, this is per sun. I think it's for about... Roughly 200,000 here in Akure. So the power rating for this one at maximum speed, this one can pump about 264 gallons per, per minute. That's about roughly 1,000 liters per minute. But this one, this casing can also do so because it's three inches. But because of the power of this motor, this motor is not powerful enough to make this pump, pump water at maximum capacity. So it is, the, it is low prayer, but we want this high prayer. Sometimes we may need to go buy fish from nearby farms and we need water. And maybe that time early in the morning, the sun will not be out. And the solar panels that we have up there is about, I think it's about 4,000 watts. It's not enough to, sometimes it's not just be enough to push the water up. So this is an emergency alternate water pump that we are going to be installing. So I will show you when the installation is done. We are going to be putting control knobs here. Another control knob here. So anytime we are needing this, we can use this, switch off this and use the other. So as a farmer, we need to get involved in so many things for the farm to be successful. Plumbing, engineering, electrical work. Even if you are not doing it majorly, at least you will have ideas. For you to keep the farm running, you will see yourself doing a lot of things. Even though there are people doing it, but sometimes there may be emergency. But this is our plumber. He's the one that we call to the rescue anytime we have any plumbing work to be done on the farm. So, and he knows his work very well. So, this is what we are doing on the farm. I can't wait for this thing to get ready. We have bowls to fill with water. We have places to watch because when we process fish and we don't wash the ground very well, flies will be everywhere and I wouldn't want that. We don't want, we have neighbors, the farm to have this offensive hodor. So water is very, very important. And this, our well, is very close to a river. So it recharges faster than an average well. 
So downgrading from three inches diameter suction inlet and outlet to two inches to increase the pressure because where we are taking this water to is far. We are taking it like horizontally far, then vertically about 10 meters. Then sometimes we don't need to take it up to the tank. We use it directly as it is coming out. So let's see how this one goes. Thank you. The plumber is done with the installation. So we have one suction, two pumps, different source of power. This is gasoline and this is solar pump. So when we use this one during the day, when it's night, when the sun goes down, we switch to the gasoline pump. So these are the control knobs. So we want to use gasoline pump now. So we put this on, then we shut this one off. So this will save us a lot of stress when we need water in the night. Maybe our fishmonger brings fish for us in the night or there is no sun or it's a cloudy day. So instead of spending so much on power banks, getting batteries to store energy to power this pump at night, we just, we just getting this one for only 220000 with some accessories that we spend about 75000 Maybe we'll be buying fuel. That's the only disadvantage with this one. We need to be maintaining it, changing the oil, buying fuel. That. So, we want to start it now. This one is way more powerful. Come on, see. That's water. 